Hey everybody, this is Maxine Taylor with another edition of Move Into the Magic. And my guest today is a dear friend who you know, Katherine Kerrigan, an Amazon number one best-selling author and a medical intuitive. And I have invited her here today to demonstrate her gifts and talents as a medical intuitive. And I think you're going to enjoy this because she has offered to do a medical intuitive reading on President Donald Trump. So, Catherine, welcome again to Move Into the Magic. Thank you, Maxine, and thank you everybody out there listening. Now, I wanna start by saying that as a medical intuitive healer, I have to be neutral, and so I'm not gonna be talking about politics in this. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna give you insight into Donald Trump the man and what we can expect from this individual. So as a medical intuitive healer, I read the physical body, the energy body, the emotional body, the mental body, and the spiritual body, and I can give you greater depth and insight about what's going on. So let's start by talking about Donald Trump. I want to just start by saying that this individual is obviously somebody who brings out strong emotions in people. And so I'm going to be uh, sharing some insight, and I am going to recommend that we all look at this individual, somebody that we can learn from, because we can learn from anybody. So first of all, Donald Trump is 70 years old, and when I do a medical intuitive Maxine, uh, reading Maxine, I always start with the person's overall chi level. And I don't compare you to a 22-year-old unless you're 22. I compare you to another individual of your age. So Donald Trump has actually really excellent energy. So uh, an overall life energy level would be 50 out of 100, which would be average for a person his age. So his overall chi level is 68. So he has more energy than the average 70-year-old man. Now, the next thing I asked was, what is his most stressed organ? Because a lot of times, if we understand what our most stressed organ is, if we address that organ, then the overall health, our entire body improves. And his most stressed organ for Donald Trump is his gallbladder. Now, your gallbladder, the primary function of that is to store bile. It helps us digest fat. It's part of our wood element in Chinese medicine. Now, a healthy organ ranges it from 72 to 85 percent, and Donald Trump's gallbladder is currently operating at 43 percent. Now, today is Tuesday, January 24th, 2017. He just got inaugurated. He's probably been eating a lot of fatty foods. So his gallbladder is currently under-functioning. When your gallbladder is under-functioning, you have difficulty digesting fat or dairy products, and you may be affected by having gallstones. Now, I noticed that he does tend to higher blood sugar, hyperglycemia, but he is not diabetic. He has poor postural alignment. Um, now, this is very interesting. When I went into his energy body, his primary operating chakra is his sixth chakra. Now, we, we have these energy centers in our body, and we operate out of, we can operate out of all of them. However, many of us have a, a chakra that we operate primarily out of. So Donald Trump's primary operating chakra is sixth chakra. Now, here's where I really feel that whether you're a Republican or a Democrat, whether you hate him or you love him, we can all learn something very important from Donald Trump. Now, Donald Trump is a, a visionary. His primary psychic gift is clairvoyance. That means he gets a picture of how he wants things to be in his mind, and then he creates from his inner picture. Now, the thing about the gift of psychic vision is that we can get stuck on our picture. So I always recommend when I'm working with people who are high in clairvoyance that they create two pictures. I could be happy as a fisherman, or I could be happy as a hunter. I could be happy living on the East Coast, or I could be happy living on the West Coast. So Donald Trump is creating his vision of the world. That is how he creates, from the picture first. Now at the moment, his sixth chakra is a little bit over energy, and when your six chakra is over energy, you could suffer from hallucinations or delusions 
and you're so stuck on your picture that you're not quite seeing things exactly as they are. Now, the next thing I looked at was his emotional level, and I looked at what is Donald Trump's primary emotion, operating emotion, for the past six months. Now, his primary emotion, I found that about 83% of the time, this is very interesting, his primary emotion is joy. So he has experienced a tremendous amount of joy and enjoyment over the last six months. You know, many people would be highly stressed by running a presidential campaign or going through an election and so on. But he's really enjoyed the process. Yeah. And what we have to understand is whatever emotion is inside of us is the emotion that we project outward into the world. So if I'm bitter and angry all the time, then I'm going to see 100 reasons to be angry. Donald Trump is actually somebody who has, for the past six months, has been experiencing a lot of joy, and that is what has come across to the people who are closest to them. Now, now Donald Trump knows who he is, so um, this, this, uh, this joy is also an aspect of the heart. So he has a very strong sense on the emotional level of who he is. And when we know who we are, this is who we show to the world. We're not afraid to show who we really are. And Donald Trump has absolutely no trepidation whatsoever about showing who he is to the world. So Donald Trump knows who he is. He has a very clear picture in the, of, of the world, according to Donald Trump. And he's quite comfortable showing who he is. Now, like an artist who shows us his vision of the world, I mean, think of the difference between Matisse and Picasso, or between Rembrandt and Monet. So every artist has a particular vision that they show us. So I think a real helpful way for us to think of Donald Trump is as, as an artist who is showing us his picture of the world. Um, now, he, has, uh, he really trusts his sense of joy and passion, and Again, the other word for joy is exuberance. So he's had a lot of exuberance. Now, on a mental level, his values, I looked at his values, and this is very interesting because his value is not safety. He is very, very comfortable taking risks. He enjoys competition. He loves putting it all on the line. And he is very confident in his ability to create whatever he wants to create the picture that he sees. Now, when I went into his spiritual level, and again, I'm doing this, this is the cliff nosed version of a medical intuitive reading on Donald Trump. We all have soul agreements. Now again, going back to his primary psychic gift is that he's a visionary. Now all the psychic gifts have an upside and a downside. So people who are visionaries, they're good at integrating all factors into plans. They're great planners. They're great with visual spatial arrangements. Now, what they're not good at is they're not good at the subtle dynamics of feelings. They're not empathetic. They have an excellent sense of time. They love to plan. They have a good sense of direction. They know where they're going. They're good with maps. They can visualize situations, they can visualize problems, and they can also visualize solutions in their mind. They're great at seeing ahead and spotting problems. Now, many people, many of us as souls, because we have a body and we are a soul, and we have to look at Donald Trump, whether you hate him or love him, he's still a fellow soul. And I looked at Donald Trump from a soul level, and this is quite interesting because he, in, a, in other lifetimes, he has taken past life vows as an oath of retribution or vengeance as a king and a warrior. Now, when you have taken these past life vows, they come something like this. If in any lifetime, uh, you know, I made a vow of vengeance or retribution, Okay, that's what they're about. So we have to realize that many times when we are um, acting in this life, we're not just acting out of what's going on now, we're acting out of soul agreements from past lives. So Donald Trump has had past lives as a warrior, he's had past lives as a king, and in this lifetime, 
he is acting out of these soul agreements and has no trouble with retribution, no trouble taking vengeance. Now, if Donald Trump was my client, I would encourage him to do a healing to clear these past these soul agreements from past lives. And I would have him affirm, I now affirm the light and protection that surround us all. I allow my thoughts to be three, free. I lovingly forgive and release all of the past. I am at peace. So we have to just realize that he's operating out of these soul agreements. And he's very comfortable with vengeance. He's very comfortable with retribution. But when you look at where that comes from, it's coming from his past lives. Now, the next thing I looked at is his archetypes. Now, whenever we're operating out of an archetype, we are not being our true self, okay? So we're playing a role. Just like if you tried out for a TV pilot and they said, great, you're gonna, we're going to give you this part, you're going to wear the costume, you're going to use the accent, you're gonna, we're going to give you the lines. So this is very interesting when I looked at Donald Trump's archetypes. And again, this is a lot of this is how he sees himself. Whether it's true or not true, this is the roles that he is putting on, the costumes, the, how he sees himself. So the first one, and this is interesting, he sees himself as a Samaritan. So what are Samaritans? They're people who serve others. They're, they're helping the poor. They're helping other people out. Love him or hate him, that's how he's seen himself. Another role that he is playing is liberator. Liberator. So I'm going to free the, you know, the struggling masses. Avenger. Again, so he is very comfortable in the role of avenger. So that means that if he sees what in his mind he perceives, and again, he's operating out of this very strong vision, if he sees a wrong in the world, he has no trouble whatsoever of taking action as the Avenger. And the last role that I saw him operating at is, of course, King. So he's been king, a king in the other lifetime. He has no trouble being a king. It's just, you know, here we are again. Now we're the king. Now this is interesting because, again, Donald Trump, love him or hate him, we can have a lot of compassion. He's a fellow soul. Um, I looked at his karma. And he is still suffering from the karma of emotional starvation. Now, when people are emotionally starved all the way to the level of our soul, then people tend to stuff themselves. So you, you may be stuffing yourself with food, with drink, with work. This is where we go into our addictions, okay? Um, but it's, it's really about this deep emotional starvation um, as a spiritual person, I would say one of the solutions to this would be to have a deeper connection with source. And I know Donald Trump prays, I know he goes to church, but we can all pray and go to church, but still suffer from very deep emotional starvation. So again, if he was my client, I would absolutely do a healing with him to clear and uh, this karma of emotional starvation. So when you're emotionally starving, then you can get the house and it's not enough. Then you need a bigger house and you have the bigger house and you need a bigger house. And then you have the car and then you need the Rolls Royce and then you need 10 Rolls Royces. And you have, you know, it's just never enough. Never enough is never enough. And it's all coming from this deep emotional starvation at the soul level. Now, so this would really help us to give us have compassion and understand his acquisitive nature because never enough is never enough. Now, this is interesting because what he has overcome from a karmic level is many people suffer from the karma of I can't thinking, whether it's I can't get out of bed or I can't get a job or I can't improve my lot, I can't make money, I can't do this, I can't do that. Donald Trump has none of this. His motto, whether he says it or not, is, yes, I can. And, again, we can all learn from this, okay, because you can receive a healing to clear the karma of I can't thinking. Donald Trump has a very strong self of self-efficacy all the way to his level of soul. So he knows any challenge presented to him in his mind at his soul level, it's yes, 
I can, maybe you can't, but I can. Now, people who want to manifest, and we all need to manifest, whether it's a new job, a new guy, more money, more health, whatever, we would all do well to study Donald Trump because this is his process. Donald Trump literally gets his inner vision and he holds so fast to his inner picture that no matter what other people say or do, he doesn't let anybody get in the way of his picture. And again, we can all learn from that. And he, he gets this very strong picture, and then he manifests his picture in the world. Now, the next thing that I did, did was I looked at his level of consciousness, because many people are, Donald Trump feels very different from any of our recent presidents. Now, there is an author, Dr. David Hawkins, who wrote a book, a wonderful book called Power Versus Force. Um, if you send me an email, I'll send you a link to a free download with his map of consciousness. So what I looked at was what is Donald Trump's level of consciousness. Now, your level of consciousness is like your grade point average in college. Maybe you were brilliant in English and not so good at economics. And you're wonderful at physics and you sucked at history. And that's your GPA. <laughs> so it's your GPA, your grade point average on the soul level. and um, Donald Trump is at 353. Now, um, 310 is willingness, and he is absolutely willing. 350 is forgiving. It's very important that to understand that for all his foibles, he is in integrity. Now, what I find in working with people is that people in the 300s have not resolved their core emotional dramas. So they're very much caught up in their own emotions and they're not operating out of reason. So all of the other presidents have been above 400. 400 is the level of reason and logic. So Barack Obama was 421, George W. Bush was 410, Bill Clinton 401, George Herbert Walker Bush was 470. So all of our other recent presidents have been operating out of the 400s, operating out of reason, and not operating out of their emotions. So again, if Donald Trump was my client and I was doing a medical intuitive he healing with him, I would encourage him to do emotional clearing work and address his core dramas and resolve them. So... But again, on the positive note, I feel that we can all learn from Donald because he is a magnificent manifester. And um, again, he's operating out of Samaritan, Liberator, Avenger, and King. So again, love him or hate him, that's his mindset and that is where he's coming from. Um, I really appreciate you all listening. Uh, my name is Katherine Kerrigan. I'm a medical intuitive healer. If you would like, a medical intuitive reading for yourself, you are welcome to visit my website, katherinekerrigan.com, that's C-A-T-H-E-R-I-N-E-C-A-R-R-I-G-A-N.com, or drop me an email at katherine at katherinekerrigan.com. I offer a free 15-minute consult. So again, we are all souls, and all information is available everywhere. So you can read a person, their physical body, their energy body, the emotions, their mind, and their karma, their soul level from anywhere in the world. So, uh, Maxine, back to you. Uh, what, are you, what, are you what are your thoughts about the medical intuitive reading about Donald Trump? I think, <clears throat> excuse me, I think you did a brilliant, magnificent job. I learned so much about him, which validates his birth chart, you know, as an astrologer and a healer, um, I've looked at him and uh, on my Trumpology report, I talk about the people around him and what they trigger in him and vice versa. And what you described dovetails perfectly with his birth chart. Um, and I think that what you have to say is brilliant, as I said, and lifts us all up so that we're able to stand back, <clears throat> look at the bigger picture, and those of us who are light workers can then lift 
the planet because our vision may have gone from here to here. After all, we are all love incarnated. And so I want to thank you so, so much for sharing your brilliance today, for sharing your expertise. And as Catherine said, if you would like your own personal medical intuitive reading from her, you can contact her at katherinekerrigan.com. So uh, now that you have lifted all of us, I invite you to come back in the future and perhaps do yet another medical intuitive reading uh, healing on somebody else who is vitally important to our world. And I invite all of you to return uh, and join me when we move into the magic. And because Catherine has been so incredibly helpful in helping us uplift and see it a new way, let me remind you that when you change the way you look at things, the things you look at change. <laughs>